Stranger Danger. Stranger Danger! Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is... No, never mind. Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben. And I'm Kay. I forgot to introduce you. You did. How rude. <laughs> and today we are doing a Netflix, like Obviously. we normally do, a Netflix series that landed today. It's called The Stranger. A web of secrets sends family man Adam Price on a desperate quest to discover the truth about the people closest to him. So The Stranger is based on a book. It's eight episodes. It's quite easy to get through. It's a very bingeable series. Totally. Um, and this reminded you of what? The first season of Broadchurch. Broadchurch was excellent. But this is a, a Netflix original uh, series, so it should be available to everybody, as far as I'm aware. Um, it's very good in the way it keeps you guessing. It's frustrating that way. Um, you actually don't really find out what happens, um, what the secret is. It's secrets upon secrets. Everybody has secrets. Um, and it's also almost like an investigative series. So every episode you find out more about what's going on within this plot and they're, you know, your next door neighbor is not who you thought they were. Your, your, your person that you go to coffee with is not who you thought they were. And it just piles on the what? <laughs> There's just more questions. Every, in, every single episode until about episode six, really, you are asking questions. And I was wondering... Um, would this story be able to have a completion where you feel satisfied with it? Because you get a lot of series like this where when you get to that end, they just leave so many things hanging. But I'm happy to say... It's got an ending. <laughs> if there, if there is a good ending. Yes. I actually was not intending to watch this at all. No, um, I stumbled into the room while Ruben was watching it and I was intending on doing some work of my own. <laughs> and before you know it, I was sucked right in. So, yeah, it's it's really gripping. It's unusual to find a TV series where you find both the young cast and the adults be really uh, riveting. Like they're yeah. both hold screen presence really well. So whoever did the casting did a really great job here. At the same time, I think the scripting is quite quirky, but not in a funny way. It's it's quite tight and you believe the family interactions of things that are happening between friends. You believe friends are friends. You believe yeah. uh, there is yeah. this drama going on. And when something is revealed within secrets, it's done um, well within the edit, I think. And I think the editing was quite good, except for episode one, where I was remembering, I was saying to Kirsten, I was like, this feels a little bit like East Enders. It had a little bit yeah. of a soap <laughs> feel. Thankfully, that type of editing style doesn't keep going throughout the rest of the series. Yeah. It just it makes you, at the end of each episode, you really want to find out what happens next. So if you're planning on watching like one or two episodes, good luck. I think yeah. you're probably going to want to watch the entire eight episodes and find out what happened. They did a great job of ending every episode with <laughs> wanting to know more. Like, what? The score was very good and it didn't like drive the series, but it was just there enough. Um, there were occasional times where, where I was going, well, there on the tones because it was like... Burr, burr. Like, oh, something's happening now? Because the, the sound effects are telling you something's happening now. Uh, and that's fine. That's a, a general um, way of editing. I guess most TV series do that. I have one gripe, and that's not to this TV series. That's to all TV series seem yeah. to be made where people don't communicate. Oh, um, it's a writer's ploy that's yeah. so popular at the moment. It's a tactic they use to dry or, or draw out a story. Because if people just literally spoke to each other, there would be no story for a lot of these TV series. Yeah. They'd be like, let's sit down, have a cup of tea, and let me tell you what's happened. And they'd be like, oh, really? Oh, we need to do this and this and this and this. And then, you know, Problem one, ep solved. one episode stuff done yeah but there's a lot of people not talking to each other and yeah. and that's a, a tactic that all these tv series seem to be using at the moment to draw out the i don't know if we've forgotten somehow how to make tv series or this is just like when something becomes popular in hollywood or like in the realm of uh, media it seems to follow a trend where people just copy the hell out of it there uh, years shaky ago cam. yeah years ago it was dutch angles and then shaky cam because that's the way we look yeah I mean, I'm dizzy now. <laughs> uh, but now it seems to be this tactic. And uh, oh. I didn't mind it so much in this because I think because we do get those answers. And also um, because the whole show is about keeping secrets. Yeah. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. But one of my pet gripes, and maybe this is just because I'm completely naive, but is children not speaking to their parents. <laughs> 
is this is this real? Like, is it is it actually true that kids hide everything? Like nobody from their has、parents? a good relationship with their kids. Like why? At all? Why? No kids feel comfortable telling their parents about the crap they've got into and that the fact that they need help. Yeah. It's just, I mean, it makes for good. It makes for good drama. Yeah. Because there's all this drama happening, but like in real life, I would really hope that if my kids got into some of that. Trouble. If I got into real deep trouble as a child, no matter what my parents would do, I would still go to them because、yeah. I knew they're the ones that could help me. It doesn't seem like in in TV land that's the thing. Yeah. But like you said, it it is for、um, extenuating, extenuating, heightening、um, drama,、hmm. which、Not、I guess yeah that works. I thought the acting was good. Yes.、Um, I thought the. The way it was edited and put together, I thought the direction was great, and I really like that you get rewarded at the end. Yes, I would say that it it is quite emotional. There were emotional beats that I wasn't expecting to be, you know, gripped by certain characters, and、yeah. then I was, and I was like, ah.、Oh. And there are moments when I thought I was guessing what was happening, and then I didn't. Uh, which, which, which is great. Yeah.、Um, it is based on the book. I'd be interested to see if anybody watching this has read the book and whether you think the translation from book to screen has been done well. Obviously, they can't do everything, so I'm sure they've left stuff out. But、yeah. as a new original drama TV series that's set in the UK, I think it's very good. Very good. I'm going to give this a solid. A. Me too. Woohoo! Let us know in the comments below what you thought about the series. Were you excited to see it? I know a few people were saying, "Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one." Did it live up to your expectations? Chat to us in the comments below. But most of all, until next time, remember: live long and Tuesday. <laughs> what? what? Were, I was lost in thought. You were like, "Oh no!" I what, was lost in thought. What do I say? I、there? was thinking what? about stuff that you had said. Oh. Do you want to share with the class? No,、uh, maybe.、Uh, I was just thinking that. What I really appreciated about the series was that it was a little bit more realistic in terms of the outcomes. Yeah, but I don't necessarily need to say that. It's a realistic TV series. Two thumbs up. One and a phone. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>